Good morning, Oasis Kids families. It is so good to see you all again. Are you excited to hear another part of God's story? I know that I am, but I'm getting excited about a lot of things right now, if we're honest. It's December, which means family and friends and good food, Christmas cookies, and Christmas presents, too. There is so much to be excited about. I'm also excited about what we learned last week. Do you remember what that was? we learned about making a difference. Since then, I've been trying to think of different ways to make a difference. Do you have any ideas? I have several ideas, like writing cards or drawing pictures to give to people just so they know that they matter to me and to God. I thought about getting my family to collect food and clothes for people who may not have what they need. In fact, our church, Oasis Church, is going to be doing a lot of things this month to help us make a difference. Remember, it doesn't take a big thing to make a difference. We can also make a difference at home by helping mom or dad. We can pick up our toys, listen better and we can play with our siblings instead of fighting with them. I bet that makes a huge difference in our parents' day, huh? Well, this week we are learning about another guy who made a difference. In fact, some people think of him as one of the first missionaries for God. A missionary is someone who goes to all of these different places to tell others about Jesus. But before we learn about this guy, let's worship together. Will you worship with me so that we can spend time with God? I love to worship together even though we are in different places, we are still doing it at the same time and in relatively the same way. So let's sing this song and I will see you after our Bible story. We've got time to travel. We're gonna do what's right. We're gonna love it. And we'll always be kind Jesus, I will do what you say I will obey Jesus, I will do what you say I will obey I want to love, love, love I want to be, be kind I want to obey God And do what's right God's story, Paul. So part of God's story is about a man named Paul, and it begins like this. Paul was born in a city called Tarsus. Back then, being born in Tarsus was about as cool as being born in an amusement park. So Paul thought he was cooler than other people, especially the ones who were following Jesus. Paul turned into a real bully. He found ways to get people who were following Jesus thrown in jail, beat up, and even killed. One day, Jesus yelled from the sky, Paul, Paul, why are you acting this way? Then Jesus shined a really bright light, brighter than the sun, right into Paul's eyes. Paul couldn't see anything for three days. Kids, never look straight at the sun. Remember what happened to Paul. After Paul could see again, he decided to listen to God. And not just listen. Paul decided to spend his whole life telling people about God and God's son, Jesus. Paul knew if he was gonna tell people about God, he better get to know God. Paul found different ways to get to know God. Sometimes he fasted, which is when you skip a meal or many meals. 
and spend time praying to God instead. Other times, he snuck off alone so he could sit and listen to God. Paul said getting to know God was like training to run a big race. Sometimes training for a race takes work, especially if you want to win. Just like it can sometimes take hard work to fast or sit quietly and listen to God. But for Paul, knowing God was way better than winning first place, even if the prize is a million billion dollars. Once Paul knew God, he was so excited that he wanted to tell everyone, even people he didn't know. Paul became a missionary. A missionary is a person who goes to new places and tells people about Jesus. And even while he was doing this, Paul was writing lots and lots of letters telling other people about Jesus. Now sometimes, Paul found out that not everybody wanted to hear about God, but he told them about God anyway, just to make sure everybody had a chance to hear. Have you ever tried talking to somebody when they weren't listening to you? The people started getting really mad at Paul when he talked. They threw rocks at him, beat him up, put him in jail, and even tried to get rid of him completely. Guess what Paul did? He said he'd be happy to go to jail, get beat up, and even die if it means more people know about Jesus. Well, God was with Paul when he was getting beat up and put in jail. One night, God even sent an earthquake to open the doors of the jail so Paul could be free. But instead of escaping, Paul stayed to tell the prison guard about Jesus. Later on, Paul was sent to a bigger city with a bigger jail. To get there, he had to take a boat. During hurricane season, one of the storms hit Paul's boat and it got shipwrecked. Sorry. So he had to swim all the way to a nearby island. Picture swimming in the North Pole with penguins. That's how cold Paul was. But as soon as he saw there were people living on the island, what do you think he did? Yep, he taught them about Jesus. Paul never stopped telling people about Jesus and how Jesus loves everyone and wants to help them stop doing wrong things and teach them how to know him. He got put in jail at least four times, was shipwrecked three times, and was even bitten by a poisonous snake. But Paul didn't care what happened. He was so happy knowing God that he just wanted everybody else to know God too. And that's the story of Paul. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Paul was a bully who didn't follow God. God blinded him for three days. Then Paul believed in God, and he spent time getting to know God. He decided to tell everyone about Jesus. He was willing to have rocks thrown at him, go to jail, get beat up, get shipwrecked, or even die as long as he could tell people about God. And that's a part of God's story. Wow, Paul wasn't very nice at the beginning of his story, was he? However, God changed who he was and that made him want to treat people different and act different, didn't it? Have you ever had a friend, family member, or even yourself act in a not so nice way? I know that I have, but when I let God into my heart, it makes me want to not only act differently, but let others know about God so they can have God in their heart as well. Paul had to go through a lot of hard times, but God was always with him, and Paul kept telling people about God even through those times, which makes him kind of a big shot in the Bible. Sometimes it's hard, but remember, God loves you and is always with you. So how about we make our big idea for this week? Ready? Say it with me. Anyone, you, or you, or you, and most especially you, can be a Bible big shot. You all did so good today, so I wanted to give you a hand. Bravo. And I couldn't be happier that you joined us today. I hope you try your best to be a Bible big shot this week. Mom or dad, you should have received an email this week with questions and activities to do that goes along with our Bible story from today. I hope you all have some great discussions this week and enjoy the activities. If you didn't get the email, no worries. You can just head over to www.kidsloveoasis.com and we have everything that you need there. I hope you all have a wonderful week and we will see you here next time. Bye!